Hey all, my name's Kyle Tilly. I'm a full-time reseller, um, also known as True Rarities Resale. Uh, this is going to be a haul video. actually just got back from post office and hitting two spots. Today I went to the pawn shop, which is conveniently located right next to the post office, so I hit that one quite a bit, and it usually turns up with some pretty good stuff. Um, today was no exception. And then... After that, I went to a little, kind of small, um, out of the way antique mall type deal that uh, I don't hit a lot and did pretty good there too. So, start this haul with the stuff from the pawn shop. So, let's take a look. Alrighty, so like I said, we'll start with the haul from the pawn shop. I um, don't know if you can see it, but here's my receipt. It's not itemized or anything, really, but there you go. Um, came out to a total with tax of $32.46. So let's see what that got. Okay, so the first item, and um, what accounted for actually, got roughly about 65% of, of what we spent, is going to be this DVD VCR combo. Um, if you've been reselling for any time at all, you know these are Rebolo. Pretty much always, honestly. And this one is a pretty decent one. I'd say above average. Um, not crazy, but definitely above average. It is a Magnavox. It is a... DVD player VCR DV220MW9. And I'll throw the comps up for you on the screen here, but I'd say conservatively... With the remote, which is right here. So conservatively, um, and I, by the way, just an aside, I always pair these with a set of AV cables, um, sometimes an HDMI cable if it applies, and a brand new sealed blank VHS tape. And uh, I don't know if that really gets me more money necessarily, but I do think that it helps, um, helps it sell better. Um, yeah. But anyway... We'll throw the comps up, like I said, but I think conservatively, looking at uh, 80 to 100, probably closer to 100 since I got the remote and everything, um, possibly up to about 125. Honestly, 125 is probably where I'm going to list it, and there's a good chance I'll end up taking an offer in the $100 range. Not too bad. And uh, they had 25 on this originally. I asked them if they'd take 15. They said meet me in the middle of 20. And I said that was fine. So let's see what else I got. Okay, so the rest of the stuff that I got at, um, at this pawn shop, it's I didn't really, it's not really itemized because it was all sort of a bulk deal. But um, including tax for all the rest of the items I'm going to show you, I paid 15 bucks total. So you know whatever that comes out to, technically an item, I think it's uh, something like two bucks, two bucks and change. But um, you know it's just a bulk deal. So yeah. Uh, not going to give you what I paid because yeah, I just paid all that total. So let's see what, what I got. Alright, so we got these three VHS. Um, I didn't comp these in the store. And my reason for that was that I actually recently sold um, two similar VHS with starring this same actress here, this uh, Cynthia Rothrock. Um, maybe I'll throw them up for you on the screen here. But uh, one was called... Oh, I think it was like an hour to midnight or something. And the other one, I can't remember, but I'll throw them up here on the screen. But I actually got $30 each on those. So I kind of assumed that since these were sort of the same kind of action, I don't know, karate genre type deal looking things, and they also had this Cynthia Rothrock lady, that they'd be decent. Um, I was kind of hoping they'd maybe, you know, all be in the $30 range um, like the last two, which they weren't, but um, I'll throw the comps up for you on the screen here. It's still not bad. I'm pretty confident that I can get 10 bucks each on these pretty easily. Um, I'll probably lot these two up since they appear to be part of the series. So yeah, we'll call that about $30. Um, so, you know, after fees and stuff and whatever, 20, $24, $25 dollars profit, something like that. Not too bad for some VHS tapes. So next we have the CKY Trilogy Round 1 DVD. Um, I don't really know exactly what this is. I think it's a sort of jack-off era. Jack-off. Um, 
Jackass era spinoff type show deal or something that was similar and on around the same time. I'm not really up on this kind of stuff, but I'm sure someone knows what it is. But um, I have sold this before. I actually sold the whole trilogy set, I believe, which was three DVDs. Um, I think I got like 45 or 50 pre-owned for it. So I was hoping this one might be, you know, maybe 15 or 20 by itself. And yeah, it's, it's right around there. Um, maybe closer to 10 or 11, but I'll throw the comps up on the screen for you. Next, we got this Xbox One game. It's called Wreckfest. I haven't heard of this one myself, but it appears to be some sort of demolition derby game a la um, Twisted Metal, kind of seems like. Something like that. Maybe a little more tame or basic, but yeah. Um, it's not complete with the manual, but... I believe it was in decent shape. You always do want to check discs, by the way, um, at pawn shops. They definitely don't do a great job checking them themselves, I find. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Almost perfect. So yeah, this one, I'll throw the comments on the screen for you, but solid, you know, 20 bucks. Maybe if a little bit more, 22, 23, somewhere around there. I guess without the manual, probably closer to 20, but not bad. This PlayStation 3 game, uh, Terminator Salvation. Um, I think I played this back in the day and I remember it actually being a pretty bad game, but, oh well. I think this one's complete. Yep. Complete with the manual. Um, and I'll throw the concept on the screen, but again, kind of like the last one, right around 20, 25 bucks. Um, since this one is complete with the manual, probably get closer to the higher price point on this. And last but not least, picked up these two Wii games, uh, Pogi Park 2, Wonders Beyond, complete with the manual. Tom's on the screen would actually be like 30 bucks plus. And Zelda Twilight Princess also, I don't know, that one's not complete, but still, that should be right around 20, since no manual, maybe 20, 25 at the most, but still, not too shabby. So just to recap, um, all together, that should be, on the very conservative side, 180 to $200 in profit after cost of goods, fees, etc. Um, very possibly, maybe even $30, $40 more than that. Um, we'll just have to see. But pretty solid, at least in my opinion. Hey folks, so just wanted to pop in here for a sec, but, um, so I guess I'm going to do this in two parts, so we're going to end uh, the first part here, which is the haul from the pawn shop, and then, uh, come out with part two in a second, well, the second, you know, in a few minutes, hopefully, which will be, um, the haul from the antique mall. Um, also just wanted to fill you in on... The sale we just made, because we just sold two of those VHS tapes, the, um, God, I'm blanking on what they're called now. Oh, well, I'm throwing, up, throwing them up on the screen here. Um, looks like we should make, you know, shipped, I don't know, it's like $14 profit, sold on Mercari, $14, $15 profit. Um, so yeah, puts it in our little dent in what we spent. And that was pretty fast. They sold actually about 10 minutes after I posted them, less, I don't know, something like that. Um, yeah, there we go, and thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and I'll have the part two here in a bit. Thanks, guys.